Hi, I'm Sam with the Homestead Box, and today we're going to talk about leather care. To get started with today's project, you're going to need a soft bristle brush, a small stiff brush, an old sock or a old handkerchief, whatever you have laying around, and some leather care products. And then I like to have a small kit to keep it all in. and. You're gonna need some water on hand. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take out your boot laces. This is one of the most important steps because to really access where all most of the dirt and grime hangs up, you're gonna to wanna to take your boot laces out. Then grab your soft bristle brush and just brush off any excess dirt. You know, anything visible that'll just come off easily. Make sure to get in these areas here. The next thing is really important. Grab your stiff bristled brush and catch along the laces here. The stitching, not the laces, the stitching. Okay, now we're gonna move on to using some leather care products. There's a lot of different leather care products out there. I chose this brand specifically because they do not use petroleum based products. Um, they treat leather care like skin care and that's important to me. So we're gonna start with our saddle soap. I use an old sock where the uh, elastic has gone bad. I just put it over my hand like a mitt. Dip it in your water. Load it with some soap. And apply it so that you're building up a foam to get all that dirt out of there. This basically just washes the leather and provides a little bit of conditioning. Make sure you get down all in the cracks. I really like to focus on the toe areas and inside the tongue here because they take a lot of wear and catch a lot of grime. After this stage, I like to take a little excess water, and just wipe it all down to take out any excess soap. Now take the dry part of your sock or rag and just take off all that ex excess water. Our boots are already looking better. Now you're gonna to wanna to set this in a place where it can dry. Now that our boot is dry, we're gonna apply some kind of leather salve or oil to treat the leather, re-moisten it, and help protect it from water. We just wanna load enough salve or oil to really coat the boot well. Really focus on any areas that have stitching. These need a little extra protection. Don't forget about the inside of the tongue. Depending on how dry your boot is will determine how much leather salve or oil you'll need on your boots. You'll notice it starts to take up the salve or oil and it'll start to get a cloudy sheen. That's a good thing. Uh, once it's done soaking up the oils, we're going to buff that uh, extra oil away with our soft bristled brush. Soft bristled brush. That's hard to say. So, you're going to want to take your brush. I like to hold my boot like this, brush in this hand, and move really quickly. Now, if you want to polish your boots, uh, maybe that's another video, but uh, we just want to uh, knock off that cloudy, uh, that cloudy coat. Now that we've been over boot care, uh, no matter what product products you choose to use, follow your manufacturer's instructions. But there's two basic guidelines I can give you today. Uh, you always want to clean and then treat your boots. Uh, cleaning is good. Treating is good but you really need to clean before you treat for the best, uh, to get the best performance out of your boots. 
Now, now that we've done boots, don't forget about your belts, sheaths, watch straps, hats, and uh, just any other leather goods you have lying around.